Good afternoon, Lace Jumpman. I'm John. This is many a truder to welcome. To help will come tomorrow. A strategy survival thing with a bit of a fun twist to it. Which is, like in many survival games, uh, you've got to keep an eye on, you know, making sure you've got enough wood for the fire. Enough water to not die. But in this game, you've got the added complication. We've just survived a train crash in Siberia in 1917, right in the middle of the Russian Revolution, an extremely violent and volatile period, and uh, would you believe it, in the wilderness, trapped together, we've got a bunch of people who are not necessarily going to be natural allies, together with a handful of neutral individuals uh, who just really want the aristocrats and the revolutionaries uh, to stop arguing over who ought to own the means of production, because seriously guys, there were not this many wolves like five minutes ago. There we go, mysterious gunman, derail train, we scamper off into the forest. Marvellous. So, we start off with four people chilling out here in the forest, and yes indeed, there are gunshots in the background, and, uh, funny old thing, we don't know who took out the train, because, you know, there were all sorts of people on the train, so we're in no hurry to go and introduce ourselves, uh, they're probably just gonna shoot us all dead, uh, no matter who we are. So, okay, probably best we stay away from the people who took out our train. Okay, so let's figure out who we have got here, because yes, we've now got four people floating around. Maria, she is a revolutionary. Lovely, okay, just based on your hairstyle and lovely clothing, I'm guessing. Yes, Anna here, she's an aristocrat, marvellous, so I'm gonna work under the assumption that, okay, she doesn't like Maria very much, because, you know, aristocrats, revolutionaries, 1917, etc, etc. They're not getting on very well, and... Uh, Gonna work under the assumption this chappy down here is also a revolutionary. And you've got a fabulous moustache, so okay, you might be an aristocrat too. So, uh, you're revolutionary, Alexei, and you uh, know Sir Edward Grey, possibly a visiting foreign dignitary of some description. He's neutral in all of this. He just wants the aristocrats and the revolutionaries uh, to please stop shooting each other. Because seriously, guys, uh, it's bloody cold and we should do something about that. And oh, I wish cold was the only problem because, uh, yes, this is a game that really cocky tosses you in the deep end. Like, it's day one, not even begun yet, and right now, okay, one of my characters is... Uh, in shock, so if she does anything at all, morale starts collapsing. She's also hungry, which is fine because, yes, we've got some beans here. Literally one can of beans, that's all we've got. And that's a shame because the aristocrat is also hungry, and also she's thirsty, and also she's shivering, and also, yes, Sir Edward Grey has apparently got indigestion, so he's just losing morale steadily over time. That's good. He's also thirsty and cold. Okay. Everybody's cold, so probably right. Let's get into the basics here, how we do things. Plain and simple, you've got to assign people to jobs. The number next to them, that's the number of action points floating around. Removing a snowbank from, yes, where we want to set up a fireplace, that's going to use one action point, and I'm going to assume the revolutionaries would gang up and force the aristocrats to do the digging. So uh, you just get on with that, magnificent, and while she's doing it, if we're lucky, yes, we're going to stumble across some random resources under the snow just to kick us off here. And now, yes, things get a bit more complicated, because yes, apparently fires are tricky to make. Number one, we can either make, yes, a really good solid fire that's going to be spectacular, but it's going to eat a lot of resources or something a bit more makeshift, but yes, it's also going to potentially fail a lot sooner. So, okay, let's go for solid if we can. So, we need wood. Just click on that. It'll highlight everything you've got that contains wood, though, honestly, yeah, it sticks. Not really spectacular, but it'll do as a starting point. And step two, something to make, you know, the structure of the fire. Stone will do just fine there, so... Uh, Right, I have got just, just enough materials uh, to make this happen. The trick is, however, yeah, one person doing this on their own, it's hard work building a fire. That would be three action points. Right now, nobody has got three action points because everybody's hungry, tired, etc. But if two people worked together, it would only take one. The problem we've got, however, is yes, as you can see there, people cocking despise each other. Now, they might get to know each other a bit as time goes by, but for the time being, probably best, we make the revolutionaries uh, work together. So, I'm not fond of you. Okay, fine, I think we might be dealing with a Menshevik versus Bolshevik situation here. But, they hate each other less than they hate the aristocrats, so that'll do as a starting point. 
So you guys start working on that. Spectacular. They're getting a bit tired. They're getting a bit sad. But on top of that, okay. As you do work, your character starts to develop. So Alexi here is strong. He's good at doing day-to-day -day tasks. He's not going to get so tired. Maria, meanwhile, is weak. So, okay, probably best we don't get her doing, you know, day-to-day -day digging and whatnot. She is, however, a good cook. So, okay. Very positive. Um, downside, we have no food. And also, no wood. Because, hilariously, we just used all the wood we would need to burn to have a fire making the fireplace. So, okay, this was incompetent fireplace making right here. Naturally, we could significantly improve the fire, but, uh, yes. For the time being, we literally don't have a fire because we've got no water. So, let's not worry about that for now. Instead, uh, Okay, so, Professor Grey, time for you to do some digging, buddy. Because if we're lucky, that will generate a lovely, lovely amount of, yep, sticks and stone. That'll flip it do. Okay, now things get complicated because everybody's only got a single action point left. So, okay, what's the priority at this point? Because, okay, step one, we've got to put some wood on the fire. So, toss sticks onto fire. There we flipping go, though. Uh, like everything in this game, it's all a double-edged sword. Which is, uh, I can toss more water onto the fire to make the fire hotter. Alright, so everyone's going to warm up and not be sad and shivering anymore. But, for every tiny bit of water I add onto the fire, just say tossing that on, camp visibility goes up. I, yes, those wolves I mentioned, I was not cocky joking. They'll probably be wolves at some points. Okay, Alexi, you are strong. So you get on with, yeah, the digging. You're good at the digging. You're not going to get that fatigued by doing that. We also get, yeah, more sticks, more bits and pieces. Uh, three menus at the bottom here where we've got food, uh, supplies, and tools. Naturally, we've got no tools whatsoever just yet. But build a workbench. Maybe we'll be able to get some in future. I do feel like priority number one, though, is yeah, at least some basic bedding so we can get some rest overnight. But to do that, I'm going to need needles from all the trees and also uh, some material. Do I have any material? I have a nowhere near enough material. Got it. Though a basic makeshift bed, uh, that might do the job really nicely. Just uh, three more needles. So, okay, at that point, we're just sleeping on a pile of needles. Lovely. Well, it's going to have to flip it do. So, in which case... Yeah, I'd say not Maria. She's not good at the basic digging. Okay, Professor Grey, you go over to, yes, the Palisade. Just dig it out. Let's just dig out everything. If you'd be so kind, you get on with that. I know it's a bit tiring. I'm really sorry. We just need to get the basics off that. And, uh, okay, I think I see a mushroom, a hangabout, poisonous mushroom. No sane person will eat it. Well, you know what? Give it a few days. We'll see where we are. Also, I'm really sorry, but um, you're just going to have to flipping make dukes. It's either this or sleeping in the snow. Take your peck. So, I start digging. And yes, though they kind of hate each other, they are going to slowly come around a tiny amount by working together. Camp morale collapses, presumably because they were arguing. And uh, okay, the aristocrat is a team worker perform an action with another character, they increase their own and their comrade's morale. And she's also incompetent and any task will randomly fail. Oh, bloody hell. Yes, this game is vicious, by the way. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna whack up the fire because everybody's bloody cold. Even though that's gonna cost you a little bit of uh, wood and... Uh, okay, sticks make decent fuel. Maybe just like 40% fire. Yes, I know you're shivering. I'm working on it. Okay, as Maria is weak and my aristocrat is incompetent, yes. My two core workers are Professor Grey and Alexei. So we need to get these two up to ship shape as fast as possible. Professor Grey is uh, thirsty and also suffering from indigestion. So uh, we can speed up healing with uh, tea or vodka. We have got vodka. So that's going to help, uh, yeah, cheer you up a bit. And also that got rid of his thirst, not the indigestion, but what can you do? Though he's currently drunk... That's fine. He'll be fine in the morning. Not a problem. And only one of a bit of thirst. So, okay. The aristocrat can have the remaining water. Lovely. As for food. Okay, we've got some basic beans. One edible mushroom. Though, oh, it could cause indigestion. Okay. Who needs the beans? Potentially. Not my core workers, apparently. So, okay. You can have the mushrooms. 
Did it get indigestion? Brilliant. How do we start boiling water? Just like, you know, out of interest. We need a fair amount of water, tiny bit of material. Okay, we can do that. I'm pretty sure we do have enough wood, right? No, we need to go and get more wood. That we do have, yeah, we've got a tiny bit of material. Material's fine, okay. We need more water, that's fine. Everything's under control, apart from the hunger, exhaustion, cold wolves, indigestion, drunkenness, and the fact there are people nearby with guns who are killing everyone. But aside from all of that, it's all under control. Still, everyone's out of action point, so the day is over. At night, things get interesting, because you can have two conversations before everybody goes to bed. Characters can introduce themselves or, you know, float various ideas for how we might survive that might lead to, you know, suggestions, missions, areas we can go and explore, etc, etc. Let's seek a better shelter, get drunk and just start rambling. No, Edward, we're not doing that. You know what? I like Sir Edward. Let's get an introduction from Sir Edward. Bloody hell! What an adventure! Okay, he's enjoying this apparently. Oh, and this isn't even his first bloody train derailment. Good sir, I have had many adventures. I try to avoid only those in which nobody survives. Ha ha ha! Okay, you may have picked the wrong adventure this time because I'm in control, so I do not fancy anybody's chances. Okay, that's one introduction. Let's also, uh, yes, talk about surviving. I have an idea. The tracks in this section have been built recently. Every few verse, there should be a hut of workers who were cutting down the railroad ties. Okay, now that is cocking smart. There's got to be supplies somewhere. And seriously, listen to this guy. He seems to know what he's talking about. So, on the tracks are markings for the commissioners. The mile marking on one of the ties should tell us where to look for the workshop. And despite my best efforts, yes, things tomorrow are going to be even harder. For the simple reason that, uh, yes, there's a whole bunch that's still not right with these characters. They're not doing so hot. So Maria tomorrow has only got one action point. The aristocrat, however, has three, which is a shame because she's incompetent and thus might randomly fail literally anything. But what can you do? Big damn a hero, Edward Grey. He's on two. Alexei, only one. So we need to come up with a solution to... Yeah, first in particular. The more status conditions someone's got, the less action points they've got the following day. Also, apparently that fire was nowhere near good enough because, yes, overnight it went down to 16%. It's also not great quality. Yes, the aristocrat is now not just shivering, but freezing. So, okay. This is right. This is all going to go horribly wrong. Here's what we're going to do. We've got two people who actually like each other and get on well, who have uh, basically no action points. So what we're going to do with them is send them on an expedition to go looking for those marks on the railway deck. Now admittedly I have no idea which way yes the railway is, but is that the wreckage down there? It might be, I don't know. So, Maria, Alexei, you're both going. We've got literally nothing to send with you, but you seem to like each other. It's all going to be fine. And yeah, we've got no tools or anything to send with you, so basically, good luck. Just yeah, keep as much space as you can so that you can bring back supplies. Ideally, loads of wards. Okay, so off we go. Just head over to here, lovely, and there it is. That's what we're looking for, but... On the way, yeah, just to start searching, we need supplies too. So do a search right here, and uh, here's the fun thing about expeditions. It costs only a single action point to set off. Then you can just go around uh, exploring, gathering as much as you want. But loss probability starts going up. The moment an expedition becomes lost, they have to just sit down and wait to the following day. Meaning they don't have, you know, a campfire, all the supplies in the campsite... And the people back at home, they don't have access to the materials which you might have been counting on for these guys to bring home. So, uh, do a search here. And if we're lucky, take everything, including uh, bugs! We can eat bugs! Uh, and also, ooh, okay, scrap. That might be useful down the line. Lovely, very useful for both, yeah, sharp and structure. Everything basically has, like, oh, canvas. That's a huge amount of material, I love it. But yeah, crucially, find information about maybe where this nearby site is. So go over to here. And because that's a mission, there's a special choice that needs to be made. Deep Canyon with steep slopes is blocking your way. 
on its bottom under a layer of ice and snow, probably a small stream. The descent may be too dangerous, better look for a gentle slope. Unexpectedly, you see two men on the other side of the canyon. Warm leather, packed with bundles, are armed with shotguns. Almost certainly the renegades who derailed the train, other hikers would not walk around so boldly. So, okay, do not shout at them. They blew up the train and murdered everybody on the train. I kind of want to click that just to see what happens. But no, 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 no. Don't retreat. Just stay where you are and watch. We need to know what they're doing. Oh, please don't go horribly wrong. Unfortunately, you overrated your hideout. They saw you and now they raise a commotion and we have to... Oh, good. Well, this is... This has gone horribly wrong immediately. Good, 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 good. So, we failed to find anything useful. Marvellous. Maybe just mosey to a different bit of the track. Just keep searching around the track. Oh, lost probability is going up right now. Okay. A third chance. These people are just going to get lost immediately. We need more woods. Search this bit of the train. And please don't get lost. Okay, there's something else going on. You see a bright evening sky above. A bright star to light up one after another. It's clear you... Cock, I've got lost already! <laughs> So this is, this has gone, this has gone brilliantly well. That's the expedition over. And now they just have to spend the night right here. Meaning all those supplies they gather, which was like not many supplies to be honest. That's not made it back to the camp today. So I was kind of relying on that wood uh, to prop up the fire. Because the aristocrat is shivering like crazy. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we need. We need wood. Easiest way to get water is just to, yeah, just dig out the snow. There'll be some stuff underneath it. You dig this out. Then the two of you together can build something and... Did you just fail? Because you're incompetent. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is, this is all going very well. Okay, Edward, would you mind just digging up the snow? Because apparently she cocking can't. We've got roots. We've got... That look like a big stick. Okay, that's positive. Okay, step one. We've got to keep these people healthy at the bare minimum. So, the can of beans is being handed over to this lovely chappy right here. So, he's now just a tiny bit hungry. There's also edible roots. Probably will cause indigestion. Okay, together with mushrooms, same deal. You ate mushrooms last time and you were fine. Okay, she's okay for now, but I think that just possibly made her thirsty. You try and eat this too. Okay, he doesn't really like that. Try another one. Okay, he's no longer hungry, but now he's sick. This is... Okay, drink the vodka. He's now drunk again, which means... Oh, John, you shouldn't have given him the vodka now. Now he's drunk. So, okay, we've got one incompetent person who might fail any task because she's incompetent. And one drunkard who might fail any task because he's drunk. Okay, this branch apparently makes a very, very good fuel. So that's going on the fire. Basic bark, toss that on too. Yeah, here we go. 50, ah, oh, 60% fire. The camp is now highly visible. I wonder if the camp being more visible might help with, uh, yeah, expedition loss chance. It could do, you know, I don't know. Also, she needs water. Well, that's unfortunate because, uh, okay, can we make a small water filter? Or a pot for cooking. Or seats. So everyone's like, you know, nice and comfy around the fire. I'm guessing we probably... Actually, you know what? Once again, just makeshift this. Okay, we're going to make a makeshift water filter. Because if there's one place you want to cut corners, it's the drinking water purification mechanism. But screw it, we're going to have to make it happen. So, okay. Both of you need to get involved because now you can't do it independently. Okay, they don't like each other, but not that much. They're mostly okay. It's going to be fine, except he's drunk and she's incompetent. So that possibly doubles the chance of this just failing completely. I like working with... There we go! She's cooperating! And also, she's lucky. I have no idea what that means. Until, you know, we get a gun and critical hits start being a thing, that strikes me as not useful. Still, this is fine because, yes, now we've got a brand new action. We can filter water. And some of you are thirsty right now, so uh, let's do it. You filter some water. Please don't mess it up. Okay, B. You have incompetent failed two actions in a single day. Right, when we run out of food, we're eating a her first. 
Right, toss the last of the needles onto the fire. The fire is at 71%, so you cannot possibly be freezing, okay? You've got to be all right. So we end the day. These two basically now have a nice chat around the campfire. Obviously, my two revolutionaries are just lost out in the forest somewhere. It is not good. Alexia is missing. Maybe even died. I mean, probably not. But, you know, give it two days, we'll see. I doubt it, we're not that lucky. He'll be back tomorrow morning, cold and ready to complain all day. I hope this adventure teaches him some discipline. Okay, I don't like Anna. Anna is not a team player, no matter what her character card says. Okay, tomorrow morning, yeah, we've just capped her up with uh, three action points, so she managed to burn two of them for no reason yesterday, so that's spectacular. You're still on two. And yeah, these two are still on one. And I'm guessing when you get back to camp, you are not going to be in good shape. Yep, they're back, but bare minimum. They did bring some supplies back with them. Also, the campfire apparently ended up buried overnight because... Right. Probably because we don't have a basic palisade set up. Yes, reduces damage caused by bad weather. So maybe should have kept up with... Right, heavy snowing. There's a weather report up in the top left. So, right. I mean, I say I should have prioritised getting a palace hit up. I'm not sure how. Bloody Anna can't be trusted to cocky do anything. Right, first things first, we've got to dig out our campfire. So, right, please, Anna, I am begging you to not fluff this up. Oh, thank cocky goodness. And, uh, yeah, it's still there. And the filter's still there. We just need to relight it. For that, we're going to need wood. Or, like, fuel in general. Not sure we've really got much in the way of fuel, actually. I mean, we could burn the canvas, but it's a huge waste of material. Oh, you know what? Needles are apparently, yeah, pretty good. So, okay, just toss all the needles onto the fire. We've now got some fire. And honestly, screw visibility. Yeah, the people who are out in the forest, they are suffering from hypothermia. I think what we need to do is, yeah, send out Anna and Edward on an expedition. And it's going to be a very cautious expedition. Okay. Danger level easy. Danger level. Ooh. Right. We might want to stay away from, yes, the actual tracks. Because naturally, that's where we've seen the bloody raiders. So how about instead, uh, yeah, this is a nice safe area. So. Okay, you say. You say it's safe. But right now, okay, just search here. Please find some supplies and don't immediately get lost, if you would be so kind. So, uh, trees are young, furrows from the trunks drawn, cuttings from the spruce has fallen, and stumps. So, okay, difficult to find good wood for construction, but you can find a lot of fresh needles. It'll be useful for kindling fire or covering the shelter. Okay. I mean, that will bulk up the fire and we do need to do that. So... Okay, they'll not notice if you collect the... Uh-oh. They might notice that. It was nine. That is not that much. The danger over here is insignificant. This has got to be safe. Please. Please, for the love of God. Do not flipping fluff this. Okay, just get me some nice... Okay. There's more needles in the random bit of forest than there was in the special needle event. I love it. Okay. Lost probability just went down actually. Yes, because we're close to the camp and we're away from the dangerous train line. Okay. Insignificant danger and something we have got. Uh-oh. Okay, they, they just got lost with all of that. Everything's fine. It's all under control. Everything's a-okay. Okay, new plan. Just survive until tomorrow. When they get back, they're gonna be cold. So the priority is uh, we need to get the fire up. That is now priority number one. So in which case, yeah, don't worry about the actual fire. Toss the canvas on the fire. 75% fire. Lovely. Meanwhile, some of you guys are, yeah. Maria in particular is hungry. Congratulations. Uh, you're going to have to eat some bugs to, like, not die. Okay, she's no longer critically hungry. Though she is nauseous. Good, 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 good. Morale is already, yes, at 13. Apparently it's going to go down overnight because she's sick, so... Uh, I mean, if you're already sick, basically enjoy this mushroom. There we go. Beautiful. You eat the edible root. How about both of you just have, like, a cigarette? And I feel like eating something. There we go. Everybody gets a cigarette. Hopefully that's going to help calm you down a tiny bit. Yes. Um, basically, 
Here we go, just 23. Yes, this will stop you from going bananas overnight. Basically, just have... Uh, there we go. A few cigarettes. Good, 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 good. Everybody's fine. So everybody's fine. Everybody is not fine. Is there anything you idiots can build or do? Without woods, we can't build anything, so... Okay. Plan, 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 plan. Campfire. Alexi, I would like you to... Yes. Filter some water. Because you are not in... He's clumsy. It turns out he's clumsy and he dropped the water. So there we go. Lots of AP, but not resources. But still, still no AP. Okay. Turns out we've got one incompetent and one clumsy. Good, good, good. The revolution's in safe hands. Um, we still need the water. Okay, could you please try making the... I think she just vomited into the water. Oh, no, it's because she's hallucinating. Right, we've got to the hallucinating stage of everybody dying. Okay, bare minimum, tomorrow morning, you're going to be lovely and warm, okay? I've made you such a big fire. And blood is thicker than water. Oh, they're having an event. Why isn't Maria by the fire? Didn't you appoint her to go for fuel? It's too dark to leave the camp. You call quietly, but silence answers you. She's not around. Was she so unreasonable to go out looking for her brother? Earlier you tried to talk her out of it. She may really have run to the wreckage, perhaps hoping the renegades would not catch her at night. Okay. So apparently she's got a brother who was shot in the train and uh, she's not dealing with that well because she is... Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can uh, get all of this. Thirsty, hungry, sick, hallucinating, freezing cold, and I think there's something else too. I can't recall. Right. So uh, she's gone off. We could follow her. Or just leave her to it and I hope she manages this. Okay, she's hallucinating. She's not going to be Sue Tony Silent assassinating the train here. We're going after her. So that's going to make all of us more tired. Uh, on top of everything, a night escapade after the desperate girl. You're tired, cold and scared. You should have stayed in the camp and let Maria face the music herself. No, revolutionary comrades in arms, dammit, Alexei. Stick with the program. When you reach the edge of the forest, you notice a dim light. Have the butchers already found her? No, it is Maria with a makeshift torch. Smart girl, she set fire to a piece of train curtain. Okay, so watch the surroundings. Get to her quickly. No, she appears to be doing well. Stay back, and if we're lucky, she might pick up some supplies from the train. So, reaches the coupler of a derailed car, watching it for a moment, picks up a piece of coal, and then writes something on a hidden spot. In the meantime, you're watching the area, but fortunately, there are no scouts here. After a while, torch burns out, Maria turns back, you join her at the edge of the forest, and return to the camp in silence. Okay. So, I think she just... Yes, like, maybe wrote a message of mourning to her dead brother. Don't worry, Maria, you'll be seeing him really soon. Give it, like, 48 hours tops. Okay, so tomorrow, Alexi and Maria both have zero action points. Though, fortunately, somehow, Anna and Edward are coming back relatively fresh as a daisy with two each. Good news, guys, we've brought back needles, which you definitely couldn't have got from any of the trees immediately around the campsites. And uh-oh. Okay, I think Alexi might potentially be in a really bad situation right now. Okay, Alexi's health is down to 11. Um, frostbitten foot. If you don't really frostbite on the foot, he's going to lose it. To do that, use a compress for frostbites and the quarantine point. Fun fact about the quarantine point. We don't have one of them. Also, uh, he's unconscious. So he literally can't do anything at the moment. You can revive him with the care action again. Okay, so... Uh, Alexi's going to die unless we get the quarantine point up and going, like, now, basically. So, bare minimum, needles, together with, okay, we need some wood. Do we have any woods? And needles count as woods. Right, didn't realize that. That, that might have been useful down the line. We need a tiny bit of material. We just set fire to the material. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need wood. Wood is the single most important thing. We need uh, some wood and some material. Which means, I know this has gone wrong two times in a row. But this time, when I send out the team on an expedition, it's going to go fine. Also, here. 
have a mushroom. Good. Hope you feel better. And maybe like one cigarette each. Possibly a last cigarette, in fact. So, uh, lights snowing, it's all going to be fine. And we know where we're going. Not south. South would be... Yes, this was a really bad place to explore first, apparently. Though, uh, now we know what might be here. So, uh, you two, you're going because you're literally the only people who can. Unknown resources up here. Looks like trees to me. We desperately desperately need some flipping wood. Just find some wood, then get straight back to so many sticks. Done. Okay. Return to camp safely. Boom. We brought sticks. Okay. It took us a few attempts, but we got there. We didn't get any material. There's, there's no material. Okay. Everything's, it's all fine. Everything's under control. We've got wood. We've got to be able to do something good with wood, right? Okay, so, new plan. Alexei's about to die. That's fine. It's not fine, but it is what it is. So don't worry about him. Focus on everybody else instead. Which is, uh, okay, you are dying of exhaustion. Which means you need to rest, but... Isn't rest an action you need to, like, take? No! You can rest for free! Okay, good. Good, good, good. You just rest. You're resting. Brilliant. We also found uh, some berries that appear to be pretty tasty. Okay. Everybody gets some berries. My priority now is keeping these individuals uh, alive. So just uh, finish that. Okay, they're no longer reds. What we also need is uh, water. Edward, I need you to do that. Let's get over to here. And please, for the love of God, can someone filter water without, you know, destroying everything? So he's more tired. Uh, lost the action point. But, oh, thank God, we actually made some water. Brilliant. Also, he is uh, dependent. Okay. When the character performs a given type of action first, they lose morale. Well, that's a shame because we're running out of other people to actually, you know, do anything at this exact moment in time. So, okay. I made you some water. Keeping these people alive. And this is now my only hope. Screw Alexi. Maria's resting. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Can we burn feathers? Yes, we can. Good. Good, good, good. Just toss the feathers into the fire. And uh, we can eat bark. But that would be, yes, truly the desperation move. No, no, no. Pile up the fire. Pile it up to cocking maximum. I do not care about visibility right now. Okay? Doesn't matter. Toss R. Oh. 100% fire. Now, you guys can warm up with that. It's going to be fine. For the time being, it's going to be... Oh, bloody hell. Apparently, it is, yes, sufficiently cold. Uh, even this fire is not going to help that much with uh, the cold situation. I'm going to regret trusting you with this. But, okay, Anna, I need you to build something. And no, you can't because I need... Oh, there's not another person to help. Okay. The best option for you then, Anna, is actually... Okay, 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 okay. Best option is probably you also try filtering some water. Now, I know you fluff this... Just, just set her on fire. That's the better option here. Right, let's just, you know, roll on to the evening. This is... This is not going desperately well. Also, apparently Maria's an insomniac. Though that is really the least of her problems right now. Oh, and Alexi's dead. Okay, that's, that's sad. Can we eat him? Because I'm not saying we should all jump to cannibalism, like, immediately. But, no, actually, that's exactly what I'm saying. Let's just jump to cannibalism. Okay, let's discuss potential patrols. Okay, take a breath, think about it. The train didn't reach the next station. Railway employees must expect us, and at some point, send a patrol. Okay, if we could find them, that might be a good starting point. So it's probably just a few old men who should have retired a long time ago. Maybe they'll come on a hand car in the next days. It's worth catching them then. Don't expect rescue from a military squad. Okay, look for a patrol of rail workers on the eastern tracks. Okay. Could be worth doing, though. Can we really possibly justify taking an expedition just to do that when we are barely hanging on to life here? You know what? Maria, tell us about yourself. I'm guessing that yes, indeed. Your brother. You're after your brother, aren't you? Oh, here's a plot twist, though. Anna says if he's alive and in the bandit's camp, we'll try and rescue him, but not tomorrow. Anna, I think you are significantly overestimating our chances 
of launching a daring rescue raid into the bandit camp. Alright, one of ours just died of natural causes six hours ago. Oh, I think we might be, uh, yes, approaching the end here. Because we've literally only got one action point each and still zero for poor Maria. Oh, I say I'm approaching the end. So, um, it turns out all three surviving members of my team have lapsed into unconsciousness. So, I mean, they could, in theory, be rescued by being taken to a quarantine point and cared for, but, um, one, we don't have a quarantine point, two, we don't have the materials to make a quarantine point, three, there's no one to make a quarantine point, and four, even if the first three points weren't issues, then there's no one to do the caring. You see, I think possibly this all cascaded off one started critical mistake, which was uh, exploring south towards uh, the dangerous woods, where, as it turns out, there was, yes, a large number of... Uh, patrolling renegades nearby to the train. Like, after that first expedition went wrong, I think it all did rather, if you're part of the pun, snowball out of control. And thus, we simply let the day pass because there is... Uh, there's literally nothing I can do. Well, okay, as, like, the mysterious guardian spirit watching over these people, I can, like, you know, top up their fire for them, but, um, I can't do anything else. There's, uh, there's nothing whatsoever. Here, have some poisoned mushrooms. Okay, I feel like the situation just became worse rather than better because Sir Edward Grey now has seven status conditions, not six. And here we go. Maria has died as we've gone into the evening. So, okay, honestly, at this point, I'm just cheering for Edward to be the last survivor. All right, it's not much, but at the bare minimum, maybe Edward will be the last one to die. And yes, Anna's gone down! Edward is the survivor, I say, as he, like, lies unconscious, slowly dying of at seven distinct things. Oh, and cooking hilariously, when everybody dies, the game plays a cutscene. Oh no, if only you'd made it to tomorrow, that's when a help was going to arrive. You poor bastards, you almost made it. Oh, that's just mean game, I don't appreciate that. So there we go, that there is help will come tomorrow and uh, I will say it is possibly the single most vicious strategy survival game I have ever played in my life. Like, you start this game, everybody's already hungry and thirsty and sick and dying and hates each other and then every day the weather gets worse, the people with guns get near it, it's just, it's a real bloody vicious bastard of a game and uh, I kind of respect that, because the set appears I'm trapped in the middle of nowhere, in Siberia, in 1917, with a group of people who hate each other, with zero survival experience, surrounded by fanatics with guns who want me dead. So, yes, it should be bloody hard to survive. Too many survival games just hold your hand and give you a giant pile of food and water and everything to kick off with. No, I want a survival game that kicks my bloody ass and uh, help will come tomorrow most definitely does that. So uh, yes, even though I have failed miserably, I kind of respect the game for killing me so absolutely comprehensively. I certainly admire this game, even if I find it incredibly intimidating. So uh, Okay, you know what? Let me know if you'd maybe be interested in seeing a live stream. It's not a certain thing, but it may show up in a vote in the future. So, uh, yes, watch this space. We may well see a bit more. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the viciously difficult Help Will Come Tomorrow. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh, shit. Why did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.